the Round Pal with Mandy, and we're here on Ken Island, and it's all about the meat. That's right, we're here at Bark Barbecue, and we're here to find out just what meat they have cooking and are offering in the store. Come on, let's check it out. So, we've made it inside the establishment, and I'm here with Bears. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, we're at 371 Log Canoe Circle in the uh, business park. Just follow the smoke. Follow the smoke, yeah, you'll exactly, find it. Exactly. Right. So, our hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, uh, Monday through Friday. Okay. Yeah, so the menu's been inspired by all the cooking experiences we've had with mm -hmm. uh, chefs in D.C. and the barbecue that we've done over the years. So it's very much Central Texas style, okay. but with a little bit of a curated touch. So okay. some of the like staples are the brisket sandwich. Um, so we specialize in beef, okay. and uh, it's you know cooked low and slow, just salt and pepper for about 14 hours, wow. and then. Um, a couple of the things that we really like is the pork belly sandwich, which is kind of a play on a Vietnamese banh mi. Okay. So you've got a lot of acid, a lot of sweet, and, and the smoke. And then one of my personal favorites happens to be the vegetarian sandwich. Really? So that's kind of a play on a tuna melt, but instead we did it with collard greens and mushrooms. And so you've got this kind of Reuben meets tuna melt uh, press sandwich. It's absolutely delicious, and it's great for people who don't want to eat meat. We love to run specials, you know, change things up, and um, we want to do ribs a little bit differently. So what we do is we cut them into individual bones, mm -hmm. smoke them with our salt and pepper seasoning, and then toss them in more of a Korean-style glaze. So there's some gochujang, some fresh ginger, a lot of garlic. So it gives it this like tackiness, sweet, salty, nice. umami taste. Another thing that's great is our breakfast, which people don't necessarily yeah, know I about. That. Yeah, the breakfast burrito is is awesome. It's, wow. it's actually my favorite thing on the menu. You said breakfast. Is it all day? Breakfast is not all day. Okay. Breakfast stops at 11 o'clock, but we do have a breakfast item called our laser potatoes mm -hmm. that are available all day. So nice. bark, um, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on the the, the, the image the brisket takes uh -huh. on after hours of cooking, and that outer crust, that outer skin that you develop, that mahogany, yeah. crispy look, that's called the bark. And so um, we said, what better name to call ourselves than what we pride ourselves on, which is the bark on our barbecue. So when they make your way in your parking lot and they see the sign, the first thing they're going to see, obviously, is the big smokers. The big smokers. And they've got names. So oh, the smaller one, 500-gallon uh, pit, it's built by Moberg Smokers in, uh, right outside of Austin, Texas. Smaller one's called Susie, and the Susie. larger 1,000 gallon pit's called Bellatrix. Bellatrix. So, so that's the secret behind the meat. That's the secret behind the meat. Yeah. So when you stop in, maybe give them a wave or a shout or take a selfie because that's where it happens. Yeah, exactly. Take a selfie with uh, Bellatrix or Susie, and then if our pitmaster Ren is outside, make sure you bother him and ask him all the barbecue questions you want to ask. What do you so the best way on social media to connect with us is actually through Instagram, okay. and the uh, handle is just at barkbbq. Um, but we have online ordering available. So if you just visit www.barkbarbecuespelledout.com, uh, you can just place your order online and come pick up. There you have it. So you order online, feed your staff, everybody wins. See, it's all about the meats.